Second Chronicles chapter 1, here God appears to Solomon and says, what do you want? I'll give it to you. And Solomon says, I would like wisdom, please, in order to lead your great people. And God is very pleased with that and says, well done, you didn't ask for wealth. You didn't ask for long life and victory, etc. Well done. In James and the New Testament, we are likewise told, ask for wisdom. He's alluding back to here. He's saying, right, all that that was written about Solomon is dead relevant to you. And so, yes, we should seek wisdom above wealth. That may mean that you don't take that high demanding career path. You don't get involved with that bigger mortgage or whatever to buy that far bigger house than you really need and to fund a lifestyle that you don't really need, which will take you away from applying your heart to God's word and the things of his wisdom. I think that's how it cashes out in, in meaning for us today. Well, Solomon did it right apparently, at this point. But he messes up later. You see, you're going to go on to read in this same chapter that although God had said the king of Israel must not multiply horses and chariots, he got involved in the horse trade. He, in Israel, was strategically located between Egypt in the south and the larger nations in the north, and they all wanted Egyptian horses. So, he starts going down to Egypt to buy horses when God had said, do not go down to Egypt to buy horses, but he does. And then he sells them on to the, the guys to the north of him. He becomes a middleman. Like the person who sells alcohol who becomes an alcoholic, he started keeping horses for himself and had loads of them. So he, he initially asks for wisdom over wealth, but he doesn't keep it up. He wants the wealth from being the middleman in the horse trade and so on. If you desire wisdom over wealth, this is not a one-off decision. You keep coming back to it. I want wisdom over wealth. That is something that repeats through all your life decisions into middle age, into old age. So don't think that because maybe in your youth, you in an idealistic sort of way, like maybe Solomon was at when he was younger, uh, you made this decision. Well done. Yes, well done that you did. But you've got to keep it up. And that's the thing. 